the Big 12. It is always the Wild Wild West. Well, Southwest, except for West Virginia, which is way east. But no matter where the membership resides, all are always all in on the offensive circus that is Big 12 football. Alabama or the field. Georgia fans think they're back in that championship game. The ACC is wide open. Keep your seatbelt on. The Heisman race should be one of the best ever. There's going to be a star that pops up in college football that no one's expecting. The theme for the Big 12 in 2022, not to mention a lot of seasons in the not so distant future, is change. Three new head coaches join a slew of guys who are still early in their tenures, and new coordinators are popping up around the league like prairie dogs. Perhaps the biggest of those newbies can be found in Stillwater, where former Vandy head coach Derek Mason left Auburn to try and help get Oklahoma State over the hump that kept them out of the college football playoff one year ago. Can the Cowboys finally wrangle their first conference title since 2011? But who else is in this Big 12 title stampede? We're glad you asked, because we did our homework. Bedlam is always, well, it's Bedlam. But 2021 was especially bonkers. Oklahoma State won the game for the first time in seven seasons. Then they proceeded to lose to Baylor. Trying to turn the corner, and he did not get there! And missed the college football playoff. Then, Oklahoma head coach Lincoln Riley headed west to USC. Throw in the uncertainty about this game in the age of conference realignment, and this November 19th doesn't simply have a chance to be for a Big 12 title game invitation. It might be for bragging rights for a long, long time. Oklahoma State head coach Mike Gundy is in his 18th season. Quarterback Spencer Sanders is a four-year starter. Notre Dame is still smarting from what Gundy and Sanders did to the Irish in the Fiesta Bowl. Meanwhile, Oklahoma's head coach and quarterback are so new, they're still trying to figure out where the coffee machine is. Former longtime assistant coach Brent Venables is back in Norman as the boss, his first head coaching gig. His quarterback is Dylan Gabriel. The lefty is new to OU, but anyone who saw him work at UCF knows he has the ability to recapture the Heisman winning magic of Baker Mayfield and Kyler Murray. But Dylan and Venables are far from alone in their Norman newbiness. A whopping 19 new scholarship players will be on the roster when the season kicks off against UTEP. 10 freshmen and nine transfers. I will not say Texas is back. I will not say Texas is back. Why? Because those who have said it before ended up regretting it. We're back! I will also not say all gas, no brakes because Steve Sarkeesian's mantra went into the ditch when his team lost six straight. This season will fall squarely on the shoulders of B. John Robinson as he tries to run his team into the future. Battling Robinson and Sanders for Big 12 Offensive Player of the Year will be running back Deuce Vaughn of Kansas State and his new quarterback, Adrian Martinez. Yes, the same Adrian Martinez who was at Nebraska and who I'm pretty sure is like 47 years old now. Shutting down all those powerhouses will be the Bears of Baylor, who racked up 44 sacks in 2021, including a stunning 10 against Ole Miss in the Sugar Bowl. Eco finished it. Seven of those brick wall Baylor starters are back. In Ames, Iowa, they'll return only five starters on D. That's okay, because you only need to know about one. Will McDonald led the Big 12 in sacks last season, and NFL scouts say, he's likely to lead their league in sacks one day too. When you hear the phrase unbeatable food in Texas, you probably think barbecue, and that's fair. But how about the food at the fair, the Texas State Fair, home of the Red River rivalry, deep fried Rocky Road ice cream, deep fried cheesecake, even a deep fried BLT. If you just show up for the game, you're doing it wrong. Show up early, leave late, and eat all day long. And if your doctor's office calls, just tell them you threw it all into a salad. Texas and Oklahoma's time in the Big 12 might be short. Yes, there are a bunch of new teams rolling into the conference in 2023. The Big 12 is open for business. That's all the more reason to strap on your spurs and enjoy one more ride in the old school Big 12 in 2022. Don't forget to watch all of the games during Xfinity Kickoff Week on ESPN and ABC.